In today's video, I will be discussing osmoregulatory mechanisms in salmon. I will outline what is osmoregulation, I'll give an understanding of a salmon's life cycle, osmoregulation in freshwater, and osmoregulation in saltwater. What is osmoregulation? Osmoregulation is the regulation of salt and water concentrations for an organism. Animals must balance the amount of water and salt they keep and the amount they excrete. There are two types of animals when it comes to osmoregulation. There are osmoregulators who use energy to control their own concentration and osmoconformers who have the same concentration as their surroundings. This can help predict the habitat the animal is living in. An understanding of a salmon's life cycle. Generally, salmon spend much of their life in the Pacific Ocean and the Northern Atlantic Ocean. Most salmon are born in fresh water, where they undergo a process called smoltification, where they undergo a series of physiological changes to prepare them for life in salt water and better their ability to osmoregulate. Then they migrate to the sea and then return to fresh water to spawn. This process is called anadromous migration. When salmon reach adulthood, they migrate upriver or stream, where they lay their eggs on small gravel beds. When the egg hatch, the salmon migrate downstream to the ocean, where they will remain for roughly three to five years. Osmoregulation in freshwater. While the salmon are in freshwater, the fish are hypertonic to their surroundings. This tells us that their shells have a higher solute concentration than their surroundings. In theory, if this was not the case, during osmosis, the cell would absorb too much of the solute and the stress would cause the cell to burst. Salmon cells have a semi-permeable membrane, which allows water to move into the cell. The membrane is permeable only to water. Osmoregulation in salt water. While salmon are in salt water, they are hypotonic to their surroundings, meaning their shells have a smaller solute concentration in their surroundings. Without this process, the water would leave the salmon cell and the cell would shrink. This would hinder the cell and it wouldn't be able to carry out normal functions. In salt water, the water would move out of the cell. This is an attempt to create an isotonic balance between the salmon surrounding and the cell. This means that the concentration of salt and water are the same for both in the cell and the salt water the salmon is in. For the salmon to stay hydrated while in salt water, they absorb more salt water. However, the salmon must filter out the salt to avoid negative effects. This is possible due to their kidneys' ability to, to create concentrated urine. This allows them to excrete substantial amounts of salt with minimal amounts of water. Salmon have cells in their gills called ionocytes that have specific proteins which allow them to get rid of excess salt. This is one of the physiological changes mentioned earlier that take place during smultification. In conclusion, Osmoregulation is the regulation of salt and water concentrations for an organism. Salmon are born in freshwater, then migrate to saltwater, and then back to freshwater to spawn. This is anadromous migration. While salmon are in freshwater, they are hypertonic to their surroundings, and while salmon are in saltwater, they are hypotonic to their surroundings. If you did enjoy watching this video, please consider leaving a like. If you want to see more things like this, also consider subscribing. See you next time.